Welcome to the continuation of my video series on QGIS. In this particular video, I will be taking you through how to create new map layers based on GPS data. As we know, GPS is Global Positioning System. It's a handheld instrument that we use to obtain coordinates, geographic coordinates in terms of longitude and latitude of locations. So if we are involved in field work, oftentimes we have our GPS and we go from location to location to take GPS readings. And we record this, either we store it directly into the GPS and download it later, or we write it manually on paper, you know, from location to location. So oftentimes the task we have to do is when we have obtained this data from the field, the coordinates, the geographic coordinates, latitude, longitude, we need to bring them into QGIS environment and plot them out. So that's what we want to look at in this video. And so for this, I have a sample data that we'll be using. And the sample data is data obtained from each of the state capitals in Nigeria. Uh, that's the coordinates readings obtained from each of the state capitals of Nigeria. We want to see how we can plot this in QGIS. So let's start right away. So the first thing is to open up the data. The data is already in Microsoft Excel. So you can see here, state, capital, longitude and latitude for all the states, including the FCT. I can expand it a little for you, just so that it becomes very clear. So you can see, these are the coordinates, the latitude, uh, which is degrees north. You know, it's usually degree north. And the longitude, in this particular example, is degree east. So we have longitude and latitude. So this is degree east. Okay, so I just complete it that way. And uh, to indicate that this is degree, I just want to make it superscript. Okay, that's done. And then this other one too, I should do a similar thing to it to indicate that it is superscript. Okay, there we go. So now we have the data, the latitude degrees north, longitude degrees east for all the state capitals. So you can just picture it in your mind. I, uh, if you are working in a small area, as if you go through that small area and at major points, you keep taking coordinates. You keep taking coordinates. So here are the coordinates in Excel format, all through to the last one. We scroll down to the last one here. So we want to take this to QGIS. Now, the best practice to get that done is to save this data first as a comma separated values uh, in, in comma separated values format, CSV format. That is the best thing to do. So we will save this file. So I'll come to file and I will select save as and uh, here where I have my the data we have been working on, where, where I have this folder. So I will save the file. So I'll click this save 
as type. I'll click on it here and I will scroll down to pick comma delimited, CSV, comma delimited. That's the particular one I need. So I'll pick that. So that's the format I need. And then I will click on save. And if you look at my file name, it's best practice not to have space. So instead of space, I put underscore there. Okay, so I will save this file now. So it's been saved in that CSV format. Once it is in CSV format, QGIS will recognize it. So let's open our QGIS back to uh, map of Nigeria. Okay, we have map of Nigeria here already that we worked on in a previous video. So for the purpose of this, let's remove the color. So we'll come here to symbology and we'll come to, sorry, uh, cancel that. We'll come to simple fill and we'll say no brush so that we get rid of the color. Good. So we have it this way. Now, we want to bring in our GPS data. You know, this map here is georeference already because if you look at the coordinates here, you will see that these are geographic coordinates. And as I move my mouse around on the map, you can see those coordinates changing. So now that we have obtained some coordinate values from GPS, we want to bring that here. So how do we do that? Again, we'll add it as a layer. So we'll come to layer, hard layer. Now it is not vector layer. Remember, it was comma separated value, CSV, tab delimited. So here it is there, delimited text layer. That's what we'll select. Not vector layer, please. Delimited text layer. That's the one that would give us that spreadsheet. So we'll click on this. Now, the computer wants us to specify the file name. We won't just type the file name here. No, that would be wrong to do. We'll rather go to browse. Always browse to where your file is located. So we'll browse. We'll click on that. It brings us here. Okay, this is where our file is. This is it here, yeah? state capital. And if you look at this file, I want to expand this for us to see. You can see it is a Microsoft Excel comma separated values file, CSV file. That's the file. So it's not the ordinary Excel file. We have to save it as CSV in CSV format. Okay, so we have picked the file and then we'll click on open now it's here you can see it here now uh the layer name the name for the layer is state capitals yes we are okay with that csv is the format and then records and fields option now you see geometric definition this is very important now the map we have I mean, sorry, the data we have in that table has geographic coordinates, latitude and longitude. So that's why this is highlighted. If we don't have geographic coordinates, because there are times you have tables you want to add to your map and there are no geographic coordinates. If you have such a table, this is what you will select. You will select no geometry. But in what we are dealing with now, there is geometry because there are uh, coordinates there. So we make sure that this is highlighted. Now we need to tell the computer which one is our X, which one is our Y field. So the X field is usually the longitude, don't forget that, and Y field on the Y we have our latitude on the Y. 
So we have it that way. Longitude, latitude. So if we have a coordinate, I mean, sorry, if we have elevation, then we'll be talking of Z field. But all we are dealing with here are the uh, longitude and the latitude. Okay. So everything is okay. We'll just click on add. So now it's been added. You can see points now added to our data. The points have been added to our data set. So with this now, I can click close. I click close. So you can see the state capitals have been indicated. Their exact position, exact location have been so indicated on this. So something we can then do is, of course, we will need to label them so that we know which is which. And again, you may want to change this symbol from this color to anything you want. And then you don't also want to make the, the labels to have the same color or size with uh, the state with the state name so that things are not confused. So let's see how we do that. We go to the properties. You see now it has added it as a layer here. So we double click on that. Here is the color, simple marker. So I would rather prefer that you just make this one too. The same black. And uh, that is okay for us. If it's yes, so it's black that way. And uh, since it's black that way, we can apply that to see. See now it's indicated. If we think oh, okay, we don't like black, of course you can choose any other color. That's not a problem. So the next thing we want to do is to label. So let's label. So we click on label and here now we say single label. Now we come to the value. So we click this to see what are the values there. Look at the various fields in the file, in, in, in that file. State, the capital, the latitude and the longitude, where of course is the capital we use to label because those are state capitals. So we select capital. And uh, we can decide to change the color instead of it appearing black. We can decide to make it bright red. And I think the font size is okay. So if we are done with that and we are happy with that, we'll just say apply and look at it. The state names are all there and I, I can click OK. So you can see now all the state capitals well indicated in the map. So they were GPS data. I have brought them in now and now the points. All the points are here. So that is how to bring your GPS readings into QGIS and add it as a layer to your map. As you can see here now, it's a layer named state capitals. And whichever thing else we want to do on that, on this map, we can do and then uh, finish it up with print composer by going to project and then you select that new print layout to be able to add, sorry, to be able to add all the features you need to add to it. Now you can see that the mouse here is pointing. If you if you see this sign here on this toolbar here, you can see the sign of a hand. That's called the pan tool, P-A-N. So you use that to drag the map. So I can drag the map as I like to anywhere I like. Uh, sometimes your map, for whatever reason, is in this format. You can drag it back 
and uh, put it where you want it to be or better still you can just select the layer and then you come here up here and say zoom to layer so the computer will automatically put your map at the center if you if you use that button zoom to layer you just make sure you pick the, uh, the the polygon which is nigeria the shape of nigeria here so that's how we add gps data to our map i hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching bye